Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about ODB++ as a standard export from uh, AllCAD and Allegro PCB editor. So ODB++ is one of the industry standard exports um, that people will send their, their data out to fabricators or assemblers. Um, there's Gerber data, there's ODB++ data, there's IPC2581, which is the new standard. So ODB++ is provided for by um, somebody separate to Cadence, so you would need to install this first. If you choose um, an AllCAD space and you do export ODB++ inside, for Allegro it's file export ODB++ inside, and you haven't got the, the ODB++ inside software installed, and you'll get an error message and it'll actually give you a link as to where you can go and find it. Um, or you can just go to uh, a Google search and do ODB++ inside um, and it will take you to the odb-sa.com and you can go and download the software um, here for the for Cadence. So once you have it installed, you'll go to the export menu, ODB++ inside. Um, always a message about extracting net impedance. This does increase the size of the file. Um, not a lot of people tend to worry about sending this kind of data out. You'll then get the, the options. So what the name of the file is, the input path, the output path, etc. Do you want to do an archive? So this is normally a compressed zip folder. Most people tend to do use a TGZ. Um, and then there's some options because obviously you're sending out the intelligence in the ODB++. So some people might want to restrict things like net names, what sort of option, what sort of type you want to export the version out to. Um, I can show more options here as well. So if I click next, you can see different sizes. What do I want to use for component outlines, etc. Other ones that people tend to use is do it, um, especially with the cadence. Do I want to turn silk screen fill on? So, for example, I've got a, a block of silk screen that I want to be output. That would enable that function there. I'll keep clicking next, uh, and then what will happen is the the file will be produced. So once complete, um, it'll open up in the in the ODB plus plus viewer. So you can see, obviously, I've got my outline. Um, I can look at my components. I can look at my uh, solder mask, my solder paste top of the board, all the different colours um, and all the different layers that I have, drill and bend areas and stuff that I've exported. Um, and if you go to where the job directory is, so let's go to where my files are, and there'll be the ODB++ file. And there's my TGZ file, the compressed zip folder with all the data in that I can send to the fabricator.